This is a story that we've been closely tracking here on Vyond. It has been a week since tensions flared up in the Balkans again. Since then, a mass build-up has been reported at the border between Kosovo and Serbia. This included deployment of anti-aircraft systems and heavy artillery. The countries included Germany has asked Serbia to reduce the troops at the border. Take a listen. Kosovo's security is also central for Germany, even though we have state elections right now. There must be no further escalation between Serbia and Kosovo. The political process must continue. And I also appeal at this point to Serbia to reduce its troops on the border. A NATO spokesperson has now said that some 600 British soldiers will be deployed in Kosovo to reinforce NATO's presence there. Well, they are from a reserve force made available to Kosovo force to deal with the situation and the resurgence of tension in the region. NATO spokesperson said, and I'm quoting him here, the UK is deploying around 200 soldiers from the 1st Battalion of the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment to join a 400-strong UK contingent already exercising in Kosovo and further reinforcements will follow from other allies. Unquote him here. Well, earlier, Kosovo demanded that Serbia should withdraw its troops from the border, saying that it wanted to protect its territorial integrity. The U.S. says that it is monitoring the Serbian military deployment along the Kosovo border very closely. And responding to the calls, the Serbian president says that there is a campaign of lies happening against our country. Take a listen. Mm -hmm. Seven difficult days are behind us, maybe the most difficult days in the last 15 years. Difficult because of the events in Kosovo and Metehoja, but also because of the extensive campaign against our country, Serbia. A campaign of lies, a campaign of untruth. On September 24th, the Serbian fighters stormed Kosovo village of Bujanska and barricaded themselves in a Serbian Orthodox monastery. During the battle, three attackers and a police officer were killed. The recent violence has sparked concerns about Kosovo's stability. The clash was one of the worst since Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008. No group has come forward to claim responsibility for the attack and Kosovo has accused Serbia of backing the armed militants, while Serbia blames Kosovo for mistreating residents in the Serb-majority area. Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008 after the guerrilla uprising and a 1999 NATO intervention. The U.S.-led North Atlantic Treaty Organization still has at least 4,500 troops in Kosovo. It also says that it is authorized additional forces to address the current situation.